Hi everyone, I hope you're doing really well. Today I am reviewing a fragrance called Bengal Rouge and it's from the House of Papillon. I tried it out a couple days ago and I'm, uh, I'm not wearing it today because I am wearing another fragrance, but I did put this on a card. <laughs> I don't have any more scent strips, so I've been reusing my old business cards that have my old address. So that's what they're being used for right now. Um, Papillon, if you're not familiar with that house, is uh, a niche house based in, I think, um, England. And um, the owner, Liz, from what I've learned from Smurfy Girlie's channel, is someone who really is uh, very detail-oriented with how she approaches perfumery. And I could really tell when I smell this. And I've also tried uh, Tobacco Rose from that house. Gorgeous scent. And um, Salome is another one which is a fragrance that doesn't fit my personality. However, I know quite a lot of people who um, would like that fragrance. So Bengal Rouge is one that um, I will admit at, at first spray, I was kind of taken aback with how strong it was. It um, definitely has a very strong sillage and a very strong projection. I remember when I first sprayed it, and I was walking around my house, I um, definitely smelled it kind of walk ahead of me. So before I would take steps forward, I smelled the fragrance first. That's how much it projected off of my skin. Uh, and that was just based on one spray from a sample vial. Um, so this is the, the sample that I got. So yeah, performance is crazy. And when you first spray it, I definitely get this blast of resinous balsamic myrrh and the way it smells though it's almost like it's candied like caramelized or something um, there was like a stickiness to it that I thought that was very unique uh, I think rose may be one of the notes in this but I don't really smell much of rose uh, which is fine I think the star of the show is definitely the, the resin is myrrh. Um, so that's what I definitely got when I first spray it. To me, the best part about Bengal Rouge is the dry down. The dry down was what really um, impressed me with this fragrance. So with the top notes and all that, um, I said, you know, it's good, but it's not something I would see myself wearing. But after wearing it for 30 minutes, and then it went into that dry down, I was like hooked. It, it's so good. It's something I could see myself wearing in the winter. So uh, after it dries down, it smells like taking a glass of warm milk, and maybe almond milk, and it has spices in it, um, like cinnamon. I don't know if cinnamon is one of the notes. I don't think it is, but I definitely get spiciness in the in the base that almost reminds me of uh, like a chai latte. Yeah, um, and I just love how it mingles with the that candied uh, myrrh. Together it just smells delicious and cozy. Like you're wearing a, a blanket and a warm scarf on a cold winter day. This is definitely one that I think would suit me in the fall and the winter for sure. Yeah, um, the performance still um, is fantastic even when it dries down. Um, I would say that this lasted on my skin for a good like 10 hours, no joke. I remember I, um, cause I sprayed it like on my, close to my wrist area and um, I had to wash my hands and you know, I try to wash up to my wrist um, or above it and even after washing it, it's still stuck on. Like as if I didn't even try to wash my hands. It's crazy. And uh, the projection was still very strong uh, for that good amount of time. So if you're looking for something that's cozy, uh, but not your typical cupcake vanilla, this is one that you want to try out. Especially if you want one that's uh, uh, like, that can project and that can last a very long time. 
I think the the title of this fragrance is very fitting, although I'm not uh, a cat person myself. I don't own any cats, but I think this was um, kind of like a tribute to the perfumer's uh, Bengal cat. And so I'm not familiar with like the different breeds of cats or anything, but I definitely get some something that's almost feline-like from this fragrance. Yeah, it's like playful, almost seductive, um, and just cozy. Like a cat that wants to stay by you and keep you company. Uh, that's the feeling I get from this. It's, it's a great fragrance um, that I think anyone can try out who is into uh, something very warm and fuzzy and cozy. So let me know if you've tried anything from Papillon or if you've tried this particular fragrance. I'd love to know your thoughts about it. Um, yeah, I don't know if it exactly fits my personality, but it is a very beautiful fragrance and very well made, I can tell. So uh, let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye.